Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Your Time to Shine, a radio show designed to help you explore your own divine gifts. How is everyone this this evening? I can't even talk, frankly. Um, it's been such a crazy week. I can't believe it's already Thursday. I don't know where the week has gone, uh, but I don't know about you, but I'm ready for Friday. I'm ready for a weekend and for a little bit of a break. So I hope you are all doing well out there in all of the craziness. Um, and I'm just sending tons and tons of love and prayers to everybody out there who is just going through some troubling times and some hurt and confusion. And just know that I'm holding space for all of you um, to get through this time. And we will get through this time. Just remember to have hope. So tonight, as I was sitting here preparing um, for tonight and trying to think of a topic, um, something that came up uh, that is something that we've talked about in the past, if you've been following me for any length of time at all, uh, the statement of I am. And what a powerful statement that is. So, you know, the statement I am, actually comes directly from um, the Bible. And God is talking about himself as I am. So since we are all part of, of a God, of a higher power, um, the statement of I am reverberates within each of us. And as you speak I am, it brings in so much power into your realm, into your being, that we don't even think about it. We just actually take it for granted. You know, you walk up to a friend and, and you make conversation and you're like, how are you today? And the friend responds, well, I am, and then fill in the blank. I am tired. I am having aches and pains in my body today. I am hurting, or I am great. I am, I am amazing today. I feel fantastic, right? So there's those juxtapositions of the positive and the negative. Now, of course, if you're using the positive, you know, I am energetic. I am electric. I am happy. I am feeling great. Those are all really positive things that we want to reinforce within our being. And so those are the things that are perfect for using the I am statement. Now other things like what we would consider maybe not uh, the best use of the I am, you know, I am tired, I am hungry, I am in pain. Um, those types of things you don't want to bring into your being. Now, you obviously, you're recognizing an energy. And everything is energy. Everything in the world around us is energy. And it affects us. So when, when we're thinking about the I am statement, and you say, I am tired, what that's doing is it's actually bringing that into your awareness. It's pulling it in and literally pulling it into your being. And then literally you become even more tired than what you were before. Or you become more grumpy or more sad or more pain. Whatever it is that you've attached with the I am statement, it's bringing more of and it's more pronounced. When you do that. So if you can remember that everything is energy and that you can remember to use something more like I am feeling the energy of tired. I'm understanding the energy of being tired. What that does is it kind of takes that charge out of whatever statement it is that you are talking about. Whether it's hungry, tired, grumpy, sad. 
I'm feeling the energy of sadness today. I feel the energy of being sad. Now, it sounds a little strange. It's definitely not something that we were ever, you know, brought into our awareness, our attention when we were being taught our verbal language in school. Um, so it is a little bit of an adjustment. But if you start the practice of it, you'll find that all those negative connotations, they won't really have the same effect on you and your body. And that can be a really fantastic thing. So just remembering those I am statements and instead using the feeling of can really help and change how you're feeling in the moment. Try it sometime. If you are feeling tired, instead of saying, I am tired, I am recognizing the feeling of being tired. And see if even just the mentioning of it doesn't change something in your awareness, in your consciousness, in your brain, and it changes the entire effect. It's really a very powerful tool, um, one that I use. And of course, it, you know, it takes a while to you know, change that thinking in your brain, uh, literally. So it takes some time to get used to. So just work with it. Work with it into your everyday language and see if you can't get that charge to come out of those words. Because I can tell you that it really can make a huge difference. Especially right now, we're coming, we're getting ready to go into, um, you know, another full moon um, and an eclipse. And so energies are really, really high and really charged. And so having this little help with the I am statement and putting in I am feeling the energy of can really help navigate this a little bit more. So use it and try it and work with it. I think you'll be amazed at what it will do. So now we're going to go to the phone line. And we have Amanda in Virginia. Welcome to your time to shine. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What can we do for you tonight? I was wondering if you can get a message from my dad. His name is Chris. His name is Chris? Yep. Okay. Hold on just a moment. Let me see if I can tap into that, and I'll be right back with you, okay? There's going to be a little minute of silence. Okay, hold on. Okay. Wow, your dad had some really big energy, um, some really big, amazing, beautiful energy. Um, he was a real, he was a real big teddy bear, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he just, he wants you to know that, um, that he loves you so much. He is, he's around you all the time. Um, he's showing me that you have two kids, is that correct? I only have one. One, okay. But he has was there two grandchildren. Okay. Oh, that's where the two's coming from. His grandchildren. Because he says he's with his grandchildren all the time. He's yeah, he's yeah. right there with them. Yeah, he is so proud of them. He is just absolutely he's absolutely beaming. Um he, he just he misses everybody so much. But he wants you to know that he's with you every single day. Um, and with the kids, I can see him playing like side by side um, in, in creation of what they're doing and um, their, just their everyday lives, really.
yeah, he, he just is, he's so proud of all of them um, and all of you guys, really. He wishes that he could be here, you know, um, you know, be here with you. Um, he said, especially through all these troubling times, he wants you to know that um, you don't need to be fearful of all of this. It's all going to pass, he says. Um, and he is right here to support you and guide you through this every step of the way, he says. Um, hang on just a moment. So, um, so your your child is a son. Is that correct? You have a son. No, I have a daughter. You have a daughter. Okay, because so he's zeroing it. So, is the other grandchild a son? No, both girls. They're both girls. Interesting. He was showing me a boy. Um, he's saying that one of them is having a really hard time concentrating. Uh, one is school age. Um, like great. He's showing me them as, as one of them being in like grade school. Um, My daughter. And having, yeah, having a hard time concentrating. Um, not being able to really navigate this whole um, being taught from home or being taught from school. Um, he says that's going to get easier. She's going to figure out how to navigate that. Um, and so, mm -hmm. you know, that's, <laughs> you know, my daughter is always taught from home, so now. Okay, okay. This He's showing her. <laughs> okay. He's he's showing me that there's been some 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 problems with navigating that, um, but he's saying not to worry about that because that's all it's going to shift and change and it's going to click, okay. Um, so not to not to be concerned about that right now. Uh, um, was there was there another question that you had for me? He's shaking his hand. No, like he's um, like he's he has said what he has needed to say. So, is there another specific question that you have that you'd like to have answered? No, I just wanted to see if I had any message from him. But just just know that he has so much uh, so much love for you, um, and you know know that he's always with you. You can call upon him anytime you need help with anything. He's right there to help. Alrighty. Okay. Well, thank you so much for calling in tonight. Have a wonderful evening. You do the same. Okay. Bye. Bye. -bye. Uh, next, we have uh, Trina in Alberta, Canada. Good evening. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um, what is it that we can help you with tonight? Um, I'm just looking to have a reading done for like my for future. Like, what's am I, am I going to? get past everything I'm going through? Is it going to get better? Is it, um, just, is it going to get better? Is it going to be, get over the turtle okay. that I'm in? Okay. So, so Trina, I think your connection is a, is a little, um, is a little tough to get. I, I'm, you're asking about something, if it's going to get better or not, but I, I'm missing the part about what it is that you need to, clarified for you? Um, Relationship-wise, mostly relationship and moving forward from um, being engaged, you know, and uh, 
getting out of a terrible relationship and okay okay a relationship and engagement correct yes okay okay uh so let me uh tune into you um into your loved ones right now um so hang on for just a few minutes uh just a moment and then i'll get right back to you okay okay great okay Um, so, Trina, I'm, I'm feeling like there's um, there's a little bit of uh, there's an energy of, about this and around this relationship that I'm I'm kind of trying to navigate and get spirit to give me a little bit more information on. Um, you guys are definitely not on the same page. Or not what? You, you're you're definitely not. Um, on the same page, um, it feels like there's a little bit of um, a little bit of discourse between you guys. Um, have you been finding that you guys haven't been really seeing eye to eye, or? Um, well, and, and that's that's what I'm I'm, um, I'm trying to. That's, if, if we're talking about like um, so my. My ex fiance and I um, split up on not good terms, and it, it, it's progressively getting worse and worse. And um, there's kids involved, and then um, I got into a relationship afterwards that was even worse. But now I'm trying to find out like what the future is of me and my kid's father. You know, is it is it that we're it's just going to be terrible the way it is? Are we going to be able to mend ways and be friends? Is am am I going to be able to find you know, being married myself, or is that, you know, like, I'm just lost in, with that right now, with everything. Right. So, me me and him definitely don't see eye, eye to eye, and, but it, if you've seen us before, we were, like, best friends for 12 years, and now we can sit in the same room with each other, because of, you know, his girlfriend that he cheated on me with, like that. Okay, so yeah, I I feel like that re that relationship there is a lot of there's a lot of tension. Um, there are a lot of unanswered questions. Um, there's there's a lot of unanswered things that go along with that relationship that is not allowing you guys to kind of separate um, energetically and be released um there's been no conversation about anything um about about anything that has happened between between you all and so that's bringing a lot of discourse there needs to be some ties some etherical cords there cut um, in order for both of you to move on because right now you guys are still tethered I'm not talking about because of, of kids or family ties or anything like that. Um, there are etherical cords that are tying the two of you together. Um, once those ties are cut, once some of that is released, um, then both of you are going to be able to go your separate ways and be able to continue um, in your everyday life. And and I do see. I do see you finding someone down the road who is going to love you and cherish you and treat you the way that you really should be treated. Um, they're saying a level of care, a level of standard um, in which you are wanting to live your life, essentially. But when my question, how is that like with kids involved? It's hard to cut ties with family, right? You will always have that. We have to, we have to coincide. We have to like, but it's the girl. I have a hard time because the girl that he is with now is the one that 
like home wrecked my family and, you know, me and her butt heads. And I never thought that he would like basically side with that situation more than here, like me with his kids. Like it's, we went from best friends to, it's like, he doesn't even know me. Like. Right. When I say, when I say cut ties, I, I'm not talking, I'm not talking cut literal ties. Because when you are married with, to somebody and you have kids, there is, there is a level of, you know, needing to be at least civil with each other to understand what you need to do for, for the family and, and continue that on. What I'm talking about is energetic cords. Okay, so if you can see yourself literally like having like a golden rope tied between the two of you, that's what I'm talking about, this etherical, energetic cord. And if you can see that cord, like taking big scissors and cutting that cord, right? And if this is something that um, you're unable to, high and to cut yourself. There are healers um, in your area that can help you cut those ties and those etherical cords and do some healing. But those cords need to be cut in order for you guys to be able to move on. Okay. Okay. And you know, we're coming down to the last few seconds of our show. Thank you so much for calling in tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you all for tuning in this evening. That does it for me. If you would like to get in touch with me to have your own personal one-on-one -on -one reading, um, you can reach me on my uh, Wings of Souls page, which is www.wingsofsoulswithjulie.com. You can also reach me on my two Facebook pages, Julie Yeager Walker Medium and Your Time to Shine. I'm going to be updating my website with some new classes coming up in June and July. So be looking for that. I hope you all have a wonderful, a wonderful night, and we will see you next week. <laughs>